Hi, I'm Dave Somerville. I'm 20 years old and I'm an apprentice shipwright. A shipwright is basically someone that maintains a boat, renovates, modifies. I do carpentry, fiberglass work, depending what boats you're working on. It could be anything. I've refitted out galleys and uh, cabins, done teak lake decks, fiberglass repairs, minor and major ones, cleaning boats, sometimes just buffing and polishing, anti-fouling boats, painting uh, the bottom of them to keep the barnacles off, spray painting repairs, varnish work. I've always been on boats and around boats since as long as I can remember. I did all right at school. When I was in year 10 planning to go to university, I wanted to do industrial design, and that was my original plan. I only found out about this about 12 months before I finished school, but I've always been on boats, and yeah, a friend of the family did this, and he put me onto this job. I started when I finished year 12. In uh, 2003, I started my apprenticeship. It's a four-year apprenticeship three years at going to TAFE one day a week and one year just completely on tools. I do all kinds of stuff at TAFE at the moment. I've been doing uh, marine drafting, which is pretty complicated, just the drawing of boats and I've uh, been doing traditional timber work, planking and fiberglassing, doing uh, spray repairs and some metal work. Boats are generally completely made from fiberglass now. Timber isn't really used. Fiberglass is stronger, doesn't rot. So it's just the way it's done now. Most of the stuff that I've learned uh, done just through on the job. Uh, TAFE teaches you safety, occupational health and safety stuff, guidelines that you should follow by and how um, materials can be carcinogenic and affect you and what uh, precautions should be taken. And they, um, they answer any questions that your boss might not know the answer to. But yeah, most of the stuff that I've learned, I've learned on the job. Mal's my boss, he uh, took me on as an apprentice when I left school. I will finish my trade, but I don't know, I have any big plans. Yeah, if I pursued naval architecture, I could see myself working at Garden Island for the Navy or something like that, designing the boats for me. It's a pretty uh, interesting job. I'm always doing something different every day and out on the water, in the sun. I work all over Sydney. Just recently, we had to deliver a boat that we've been working on at this marina to uh, the Gold Coast. So we took that up there for the owner and yeah, he flew us back, so that was pretty good. Best bits about the job, uh, driving boats around for uh, customers. Well, some of the multi-million dollar boats. Worked on some pretty big ones. Four million dollars, I think, the biggest one I've worked on. Most of the stuff I do is just people who have a lot of money, just working on their toys. That's basically it. I know people that work at uh, Garden Island that do work on uh, the public transport on the ferries and the Spirit of Tasmania and the bigger boats like that. It's an interesting career. It's pretty diverse. Like, I have lots of different skills where if I had uh, just gone with doing plumbing or carpentry, I um, would only have those skills where as a, uh, a shipwright I can do a bit of everything. My advice if someone was pursuing uh, this trade, be try to get a job outdoors, don't get stuck in a shed uh, in the boat building side. Uh, it's interesting always doing something different and uh, tape can be hard at times, there's uh, a lot of different stuff we do, but yeah, it's a, it's a good job to do. Not very many people know about this when I introduce myself as a shipwright. I rarely meet anyone that knows what that is. So I think that just because people don't know about it, they uh, wouldn't know to pursue a job in it. But yeah, there's a pretty big demand for shipwrights as it's a pretty unknown trade. And uh, yeah, we're busy all the time, always got work. So yeah, it's a good job to get into. I've got job security because yeah, it's so busy all the time. But yeah, I'm happy where I am.